know I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are sick of wasting money on packs, go check out my sponsor. They offer the cheapest and most reliable way to buy coins straight from the source. Use code MAZE at checkout for 15% off your entire order. Hello, boys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the five biggest glitches in Madden 22. Now, there are actually way more glitches in the game than just five, but these are the ones that you can most use to your advantage in the game against your opponents. Now, that might sound like I'm the devil showing all the little glitches and tricks in the game, but it's on EA. They got to patch this shit, and uh, it's not good for anybody. But if you watch my channel, I want you to be in the know of how these things work and why it's happening and how, again, you can take advantage of it. And of course, as always, before we get into the tips, we are going to go over the best and the worst comment of the day. The best comment comes from Grover SR, who said, I've been running a slot offset. I'm no pro, but it's a pretty simple and effective offense. Definitely worth a shot if you don't want to run a completely meta offense. And the reason I made this the best comment is because I wholeheartedly agree. I was even considering making an A slot slash Patriots ebook for free on the channel. Yeah, I know. Fucking yeah. Yeah, hey, stop it. But if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know and I can post it later this week. A full scheme out of ace slot offset, which like this guy said and I said, it's good offense. It's very good and it's very easy. So again, let me know in the comments if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. And the worst comment coming from Justin Charles who said maybe they will add the ability to play defense in a later patch. Man, every day I wake up hoping that there's going to be a patch. EA lets me down every single time. And so the first glitch that I'm going to tell you guys about is a run pass tell. Essentially, you can tell if your opponent is running the ball or passing the ball pre-snap on defense. And it's very simple. As you see, I got a run play called right here. I can go on my lineman. And it's as simple as that. You see, I am highlighted on my lineman. I'm on Stanley, Powers, Bozeman. And I can also go on my receivers. If I change it to a pass, I can no longer go on my lineman. You see, I'm on Andrews. I go left. I'm all the way on the other receiver. So we can use that to our advantage because you can actually see on defense who is selected on your opponent's side of the ball. And so here's an example of this in-game. You see my opponent is clicked onto his lineman. I can see their names, so I know that it's going to be a run play. And from that point on, I'm going to just run commit and get a tackle for a loss. And so once again, you guys can see once he clicks onto the lineman, I know automatically it's a run play because you can't do that on a pass play. And we're going to run commit once again. And so in order to use this one to your advantage, A, if you see your opponent click on to any of the linemen, you know it's a run play. And B, if you are on offense, whether you're running the ball or passing the ball, never click on to your linemen because, like I just said, then your opponent's going to know. So in order to keep everybody on their toes, just never click on your linemen. I don't know why you would. Glitch number two is going to be the RPO QB run glitch. How this one works is if you call any RPO, which is a run pass option, your quarterback either has the option to hand the ball off or pull it and throw a pass. In the game, however, once you pull it from your running back, you don't have to throw a pass. You can take off with your quarterback and run. And for some reason, the defense just doesn't even acknowledge that he has the ball. Now, this glitch actually is going to work the best against man coverage because when everybody's so focused on running with their man coverage, quarterback has a free lane to go run. So we are in tight slots halfback week out of the Colts playbook. We are using Lamar Jackson, who has escape artists, and you guys are going to see just how effective this is. RPO zone peak is what we're going to call. And any RPO where your receivers are going to be flooding all to one side is going to leave the other one wide open. We're going to call cover to man because, like I said, man coverage is what it works best on. And we are actually going to motion over this guy just to get him out of the way as much as possible. And you guys are going to see when we hike the ball here, pull it with our running back or our quarterback, and then you just take off. And if they run man coverage, like I said, it's going to be, okay, nice fumble. If you run man coverage, it's going to be a huge gain pretty much every time because everyone's focused on their man. And you don't even need to do that motion. If we just run it again right here, See, like, that guy had no idea that I even had the ball. He was just running straight to his receiver, not even acknowledging that Lamar Jackson was taking off right in front of him. Gonna run it one more time just for good measure and to show you guys. You can take off either side, right or left. I'm gonna go left this time. And these guys literally are, are right there, able to make a play, and just, again, don't go for the quarterback because they're, they're, they're dumb. 80 IQ. Tip number three is gonna be how easy it is to manipulate zones this year. And to show that, I'm gonna be calling the ever-popular play Vert's halfback under out of gun bunch. On defense, we are going to start by showing you guys against a cover three. And before we even get into anything, I want to show you guys another glitch that I'm not really including as a top five because it's not going to fix anything. But EA needs to patch this too. If you just flip your play on defense, it just fucks up everything. Now, this is just a visual glitch. Your guys will still play in the right zones. 
but you are completely unable to see who's playing where clearly because of this little glitch. So you cannot flip your play on defense and see clearly still, and they need to fix that. But that is not actually the point of this glitch right here. What we are trying to show you is how easy it is to beat cover three for one play touchdown. All you need to do is find a way to pull down either the right side blue or the left side blue. If you pull one of those down, you can get a streak behind them and score easily. And this year, it's easier than ever. All you need to do is have a wheel route anywhere on the field and have your receiver inside in the slot. So if we motion this guy on the outside in the slot and we put our running back on a wheel, that guy will be open for one play touchdown. If we put either the outside circle receiver on a streak or R1 on a streak, they will be open for a touchdown. The reason is, is because the tight end wheel. So if we just hike the ball right here. And you see... That was just a bad throw by Lamar Jackson, but he was open for a one play touchdown. So I will run it another time just to demonstrate, but I also want to add when you come out in this play, your square receiver on the left is actually on some kind of fade route. He's not on just a streak. So when you motion him in, you got to put him on a streak so he doesn't fade outside. When he starts fading outside, the corner actually picks it up and runs with him. So if you have him on a streak and you're running back on a wheel, he will get open on that side. I'm going to see if I can just roll out here. You see he is open there. Is that a good throw? Lamar can't hit a throw for his life, but as you can see, once again, he got behind that third. And then obviously you can do it on the other side too. That little wheel route from the tight end, your X receiver is more than enough to stop the outside third. And if you see, we going to run the exact same thing on this side and on this side, I'd say it's even more open. And again, Lamar Jackson, what are you doing kid? But once again, taking a look as the play starts, he's hips open running with the streak and then decides he wants to play the wheel route and start backpedaling again. No idea why, but it lets your receiver just blow right by him and uh, pass lead that to the outside. That's another touchdown. So as I said before, you can do this from many different formations, many different plays. It doesn't need to be bunched. Bunch is just the one that I'm running right now, so I know it the best, but whatever formation you run, you can have a wheel route and a slot streak and you'll be good to go. So next, I'm going to be showing you guys how to manipulate the deep zones in a cover two. And once again, I don't understand the logic of why this happens or what's going on here. But for this one, we're in trips. I couldn't really get it to work out a bunch. But all you really need on offense is a fade on your outside receiver. And then everything else, just going to the right side of the field. So we're just going to literally drag the other guys. And if, if you watch this, there should be only one deep guy to cover for that outside deep zone. But we're going to watch, watch what he decides to do. It's nothing to do with the play action either. He just runs to the middle of the field. There's no one in the middle of the field, buddy. I don't understand... <laughs> I don't know why I don't want to get mad about it right now, but I am just showing you guys how simple it is. Again, this guy should be playing the sideline, but we're going to take a look at what he decides to do. He's going back, 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 and then out of nowhere just decides to drift to the middle of the field, even though there's a receiver streaking up the sideline. For glitch number four, we're going to be talking about all the abilities in the game that are glitched right now, and actually the ones that are glitched to your benefit and are going to work better than intended. To start, let's talk about Inside Deadeye. This is supposed to give you perfect pass accuracy on throws inside the numbers. However, for some reason, Inside Deadeye works on pretty much every single throw ever. So whether you're rolling out, throwing cross body, or standing in the pocket, delivering a dagger, Inside Deadeye is going to give you a Deadeye throw. One thing you need to look out for, though, is Deadeye throws kind of affect your ability to pass lead. They tend to put the ball on the center of mass of the receiver. So if you want to pass lead him out in front and he's got a DB right on his back, that could be dangerous with Deadeye because it's going to put it right on his body, not really pass lead it where you want, sometimes cause you to throw interceptions. However, if you like to throw on the run, inside Deadeye is going to be the best ability for you because it's going to make every throw on the run perfectly accurate. Four receivers, short and elite is glitched as well. It's supposed to only give you improved catching on short passes inside the numbers, but short and elite actually gives you improved catching and improved route running on pretty much every route. So I put short and elite on my tight end and all my receivers because you see them light up and you see them get better separation with this ability. I don't know why it works that way. It's not how it's supposed to work, but short and elite is another glitched ability. Another ability that's glitched is mid zone KO. It's supposed to give you improved reactions and catch knockouts in mid zones, which are yellow zones. However, mid zone KO, like short and elite and like inside dead eye, works on any zone. And again, I don't know why, but another glitched ability. And the final ability that is glitched in the game that I don't actually have on my team is called roaming dead eye. Roaming dead eye is supposed to give you perfect pass accuracy when standing outside of the pocket this is supposed to exclude throws on the run however if you simply let go of the sprint button right when you throw the ball you will still get a throw on the run animation with a perfect pass accuracy from dead eye because it thinks you're standing still just because you let go of sprint so those are four abilities that are very glitched right now i'm sure we will continue to find out more as the year goes on but go use them if you're not already. So the fifth and final glitch, which is probably the most frustrating in my opinion, and it's something that we've all been complaining about, 
is how your defensive icons don't show up above your player's head when you are quick adjusting on defense now this is something that has pissed me off because i don't know how the hell ea hasn't patched this in about three weeks it doesn't seem like it'd be something complicated to fix especially because in practice mode it doesn't even happen but as you can see here when i go to quick adjust my linebackers you see there's a square and an x above his head online for some reason those don't show up and it makes it incredibly complicated when you are trying to quick adjust and make adjustments on the fly but in order to fix this problem all you need to do is man up your user to anybody on the field so in order to do this you just press x because that is your user right stick up is man coverage click any button it doesn't matter because it's your user and then after that you are able to see the all the icons on defense so that's how that's a quick little fix for it if you didn't know already but regardless i'm hoping ea is going to patch this relatively soon well boy Boys, there you have it those are the five biggest glitches that you can use to your advantage in madden 22 it's not even close to all the glitches that are in the game and i'm sure if you guys have played you know exactly what i'm talking about but if you guys did like this video be sure to go down and leave a like and also if you want to see more videos from myself which i know you do go ahead and hit that sub button as well i'll be seeing you guys very soon